Man, I wish I had my number ones. I mean, they're okay. I mean, they're my daily beaters, but there's nothing like my main squeeze, my first love. It's just not the same. Life's just not the same without my number ones. I'm out here in this empty parking lot just thinking about them. Just reminiscing about the times that we had, you know? Hopefully I can get that back. I have something that I've been wanting to share with you guys for a long time. Now the reason I've been wanting to share this is because I get this question all the time. David, what's your favorite sneaker? And every time they ask me this and I answer them, they're surprised. They say, really? That's your favorite sneaker? I'm like, yeah. And I'm gonna show that sneaker to you right now. Ready? The Reebok Ventilator. This is my favorite sneaker. The reason it's my favorite sneaker is because it, it has a lot of uh, nostalgia to it. You know, this was like my first name brand sneaker ever. Like ever, ever, ever. You know, they got the elephant print, they got the neon hits, the Reebok crest. You guys gotta understand where Reebok comes from. All right, Reebok was like the thing, all right? In the 80s and the early 90s, it had the Exolite tech, has Hexalite in the back right there. The Hexalite, it's the honeycomb, the honeycomb like cushioning. It was like their rival to the Air Max, you know, and these are retro runners. And then they have like these shanks right here for arch support, these big plastic shanks right there. This was my shoe, man. This is my shoe still. All right, these, and these, these are old. These, they're not the OGs, but these are, these. I've had these since 2002. How many times have you worn them? <sighs> A lot, like at least 20 times. But I only bring them out like for like special occasions, you know, like baptisms, you know, uh, you know, Easter Sunday, you know, because they got the little light colors and stuff like that. You know, these 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 don't get brought out a whole lot. You know, graduations. You know, I'm out there. You know, in the hot pinks. But yeah, that's it. My kid graduates from college. Guess what I'm wearing? He's gonna be like, why? But I don't care. You know, because this is the sauce right here. Look at this. You know. Say what you want about them, okay? You guys can be like, oh, what about the boots? What about the, you know, the off-whites? What about all that stuff? All that stuff's not gonna stand the test of time, dude. You know? Years ago, everybody was like, oh, those are the what the LeBrons. And where are the what the LeBrons now? But these right here, psh, test of time, son. How much did you pay for them? $39.99. My mom paid for a booster as a child when I got them, right, when I was a kid. All right, these, I got them when they re-retroed them. All right, so I, this was like my first name brand shoe as a kid back in the early 90s, all right? And my mom picked them up and it was like my first name brand shoe. And then when they re-released in 2000, they're like, I think I picked these up in like 2002, 2003. But when they re-released, I had to get them. Did my mom know that it was a booster? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> she acted like she did it, but she didn't do it. Yeah. I, even got, I even got the Domino CD out of her. Mm -hmm. don't, 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 if you don't know who Domino is, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. I don't even ask me. You know? What was the famous song for now? One, two, three, One, two, three, and this is OJ, the great sweat to move your Oh, yeah. I love these shoes. Together again. Ain't none gonna hold us back. What are those, man? What? These? Those are whack. Oh, excuse me? This fashion, homeboy? Man. Always a hate around here. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, comment, do whatever, share. You know what I mean? And uh, thanks for watching, as always. Later.